This video shows you how to export your tile drawing from Inventor to what's called easel, which is when you're making the acrylic plastic tile. It's not acrylic, it's actually HDP, but to your tile. So the first step is figure out which surface you want to export, whether it be the outside of your shape or the inside. And you might have to do this a couple of times if you have a couple different surfaces. Uh, so I'm just going to right click on the face I want to surface, so sorry, the face I want to export, and you will see export face as. You want to click this and then name it face tile dash your name. And that's it. Make sure you know where you're saving it. And hit save. Now you're going to want to search for easel inventables. And you can click on the website. I'm already logged in to the CAD MHS login, so I'm going to just say new project. So, first thing I would like you to do is change the material. We're not working off of a 12 by 8 sheet of plywood. You're going to work with, if you scroll down, you've got two color HDPE, which is the material you're using. You can change your colors to whatever it is that you're doing. Let's say red on white. And it's a six by six tile. And it's a quarter inch thick. Now you're done here. And now you can come over here and say import. And you want to say DXF import. So here you want to say upload. And this is where you need to know where you saved your file to. So I'll leave it up to you to find your file. But here it is, tile your name dash DXF. Simply hit upload. Now, once it's uploaded, you have to import. It's a lot of steps, but it's okay. Now, the one thing I want to say is if you imported the entire tile, you don't need this border to be cut unless, for whatever reason, in your case, it makes sense. So I would delete that. And now you are left with this funky shape that I did as a quick test. Um, to get around this, you can use these little scroll windows. Um, this is a preview of what your tile is going to look like, so you can rotate and move around. It's a little bit, whoa, sorry, a little bit not intuitive if you're used, to, especially if you're used to the inventor's methods for rotating around. But you can rotate the view by using the left mouse or pan it by using the middle mouse. All right. If you want this to be a solid shape, you could click on it and then you click fill. All right. So that makes it so that the entire thing is cut out. The other options are how or where the carving bit's going to cut. So if you want it to just be a line, there are three choices. One is that the bit that's going to cut goes right through the middle of the line you drew. So we'll do that. Let me zoom in so you can see the changes. One is if it goes on the outside of the lines. So what's left in the middle will be bigger or on the inside of the lines. And you can see it gets much smaller in that case. So that's something you can play with. The other thing is that because this is a quarter inch thick tile, you actually don't want the cut to go a quarter inch. So you want to change this to the depth of your cut. I would say somewhere between 0 0.08 and 0 0.1. Right? And this actually shows you if you come up here, you're only cutting into the red. If you come down here, you're cutting into the white. The whole way down, it's through the white. But I prefer it to be closer to the surface because it'll be a faster carve. Um, let me change this to outside because it just looks better that way. The last thing you might want to do is hit simulate to make sure um, you know what the carving machine is going to do. So the red is just the path of the tool and the blue is where it's actually going to cut. The last thing I should probably show you is if you want this to create twice the image, let me show you. There's an app called Offsetter. If you click on this, you can see that it's actually offsetting my shape. Now, this is a weird shape to offset because it's going to give me this round instead of the sharp, but this will give you how far away the offset is. So if you want, basically, if you want your cut to be thicker, you can set it here. And then you can improve it or, sorry, make it thicker by um, changing the number of iterations. Right, so if I 
Now you can see it's going to cut a thicker shape around it, so it's not as thin. Um, and I'm going to say no to keep original. And now you can see, well, it kept original anyway. So now I have two of them. But this one's a fatter carving bit. The other thing is make sure you have the bit set to eighth inch because that's the bit we plan to use. That covers it for now. I'm sure there are going to be more questions, but this should get you started. Oh, last thing, if you want to place objects precisely, you can click on shape here. And if you want the middle of your object to be in the middle of the tile, you want to pick this. So this is sort of like the middle of your drawing. So if I click on the middle and then the tile middle, it's going to be three. I'll say three here and hit tab again. And I'm going to delete this original crown. And now it's a little hard to see because I'm not straight over the tile, but that should be in the middle. That's it for now.